someone's got to tell me how in the heck the Blackjack episode is doing better than the ones where I kick ass. Oh, yeah, I'm not supposed to say... Not supposed to say... Mm, bad words or whatever in the first... Literally the first five seconds of the episode. Well, there goes that. Ah. Uh, and here I was going to thank the algorithm for, you know, showing people the, uh... Oh, well, hey. Hey, look, hoodlums. Right? They're hoodlums, or are they a color gang? Delinquents. Okay, pretty much the same. Let's be honest here. All right. Okay, never mind. I forgot for a second that my... My, um... My block is directional. Hey, pal, not cool. There we go. Okay. Maybe this is why, actually. I admit that my, uh... Commentary ability goes down significantly right the second I start throwing hands. So, you know... That might have something to do with it. Come here, you. Here, have a taste of this car. There we go. Wow, that's a new quick time event. I hadn't seen that one. Also, these hoodlums were about to take me out. I didn't even notice how low my health is. Where's the place I go that gives me my health back? That's what I want to know. Somebody put it in the comments. I actually hate that I do that. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wow, they were really being honest when they said it doesn't restore a lot of health. Okay, whatever. What are we even doing now? I completely forget. Sometimes. Whatever. Into the joint. Little Asia, right. We're, um... Uh, we're me... Good question. I don't remember what we're doing. Hey, a save phone. Very nice. I like saving the game. Let's see, what can I talk about? You ever kind of feel like your life's falling apart? I've been kind of getting that the past couple of days. So, um, there's, a, there's quite a bit of stuff going on that I'm probably never going to talk about. It's not serious, serious. Like, it's no, serious it in terms of, like, this is actually happening. But it's not like, my dad died or anything. That's not really what's going on. That was just uh, some crap I have to wade myself through to get to the uh, get to the other end of the river here. You know? And, um... Uh, I found out all the... You know how... Colleges will send out 20 emails a day about um, anything. I found out that uh, some of the emails that kind of get immediately sent to spam, essentially, for me, um, back in, like, October, involved um, scholarship applications opening and then closing. And I never saw any of them because I basically attend... A spam organization that sends multiple emails a day. So, I understand that that's kind of on me for not really going through my entire email inbox properly, but I'd like to note that it's not one inbox. I have Outlook, right? And Outlook sh filters them by, like, stuff that's sent to you and stuff that's, like, mass text garbage. I don't know how exactly it filters them, but Either way, um, other years, I swear, I've gotten actual emails to my actual normal inbox, and this year, I just didn't actually, it's not that I didn't get them, I was able to find them in my inbox by searching, but they didn't actually go into my normal inbox, you know? Like, they're in, they're in the, the, the uh, essentially from spam organizations inbox, you know? Like, midway between real inbox and spam folder is the inbox they were in. So, eh, it kind of sucks. So, I'm going to be putting myself through college for a year. 
without really any help. <laughs> and I did the numbers. I think I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Um, I want to say possibly in the red by like 800 a month or something. We're looking for the girl. Oh, nice. The owner of the empty lot is the blind girl? Oh my gosh, I would not have thought that. How does she even own the lot? That is a big reveal. That achievement is right. Wow. So, yeah. <laughs> Worth 48 prime minister's monthly salaries. Wow. Oh, okay. Well, you know what? We're going to continue on this, and I'm going to keep talking about how I missed a chance of the scholarship. So, luckily, my school is nice enough to have an appeal process for that, which is weird. I don't I don't feel like calling it an appeal process, because it's just a I screwed up process um, for me. But, of course, if I call it that, then they're less likely to give me money. So, I filled out a form, I set it in. Hopefully, they're going to be like, yeah, that kind of sucks. Also, your GPA is really nice. Would you like some money? Um, because again, I'm only down, like, 800 a month, and that's over the course of, like, four months, because that's about how long the semester is. Isn't it, like, 15 weeks? Hell, that's less than four months, technically, um, because a month is four weeks, a little bit more, actually, but whatever. It's, uh... It's real good times, really good times I'm going through right now. Um, fully independent, I uh, pay for my own crap. But you know what else I found out? I found out that you can get shitty little 700 calorie personal pizzas at Walmart for $2. So I may in fact have to stop actually cooking and start actually going and buying a, week, a week's worth of shitty personal pizzas to eat um, just because they're two dollars. Yeah. Now, I hope I won't be in such dire straits, and in all honesty, if I'm getting any help at all, I'll be able to maintain my current lifestyle, which involves cooking for myself and eating actually good meals. Who the heck are you, dude? Why is your gun so long? Oh, it, never mind. That's actually a normal length gun. It just has a suppressor on it. Fair enough. Fair enough. Do we know this guy? What's the, who's that guy? Isn't that... Okay. I'm gonna have to reframe my entire mind into the uh, Gordo Majima. Oh, okay. So <laughs> Why would you use the hand that's broken? Of course it does, pal. It's not my fault. You were you were down and out too, man. Uh, yeah. Weren't you the one that told me to be killing? Okay. You kind of backed me into that. It was a bit of an ultimatum, my friend. Oh. Well. Great. Boy, do I love torture. Are you? Never mind. I'm... I'm not gonna... <laughs> Let's just say my mind immediately went to a certain kind of torture. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> uh, but, you know, if you use a bat, it's over too soon, you know? Wow. What, did your mom wring its neck or something? Mametaro. I'd have to think about what that means. I have no idea. Uh, whatever. Doesn't matter much to me. Can't y'all start, like, financially supporting me? I mean, come on. Pull your own weight here. I know that every couple days, for whatever reason, at least one of you is like, wow, a video on the homepage with a wacky thumbnail that only has two views? Let's click on it. 
Now, of course, this joke doesn't work because a significant amount of those people are not watching anymore. You've clicked away after like six seconds. I bet you were a model, son. Uh, yeah. Well, I didn't like my knees very much anyways. Oh, well, cool. Just get him talking. He'll be monologuing. What a moron. Huh? I killed my parents. I killed my parents, Majima. Oh, he killed the cat. That's significantly worse. What the heck? Can't believe they would do that. Alright. Please miss. Oh. He didn't even whiff. Wow. You're telling me you beat me to a bloody pulp just to fake me out and then untie me anyways? I'm assuming that's what's going to happen. Oh, of course. Of course. You're like, I want you to work with me now that I've, like, knocked half your teeth out and broken a good number of your ribs. Look at me, man. I'm, I am, I am red as anything else, and it ain't just the tattoo. Sheesh. <laughs> Never seen the guy, dude. Neither have I. He looks like he's from a different place. <laughs> I know what value she has. She owns a small piece of land. Yes. <laughs> this guy doesn't even know. Great. Well, whatever. Uh. Wow. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Wait, hold on though. If she dies, I don't know exactly how the Japanese um, land system works. Does somebody's property just get put up for sale when they die? Or is it up for grabs or something in Japan? I mean, I'm not going to say that like Makoto's really... Uh, on the books for like an estate sale or anything like that, but I mean, <laughs> come on, I don't, I don't get what's going on with the whole like, let's just kill her, you know? She seems like she would take a good amount of money for that lot. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't even make the stand; it was some other guy. Yeah, exactly. Yes, he did. These organizations are large and convoluted, and not all of the people know each other. Who could have seen it coming that they would do different things? Assuming they're in the same organization, I don't remember. I've been playing this game for too long. This is like episode, um, well actually it's probably not that long, in all honesty. It's actually probably like episode 40-ish or so. Doesn't matter, really doesn't matter at all. I've moved away from saying anything at all about episodic content. Wait, no, I do put the episode on the Yakuza Zero videos. Cause, well, this is a cohesive story. Sort of. I mean, the me beating people up or playing blackjack aren't such important parts of the story, I suppose. So the blackjack episode... Well, the latter half of the blackjack episode was story, though, so... Hmm. I don't know, man. I don't know. <laughs> you would have beaten it out of me by now. What, are you going to take my other eye? Come on, you'll kill me. Is that what you're going to say? Yeah. You're sure a big fan of trying to kill me, huh? What's the plan now? You know... You know what I can do? I could just... I could have just ended the episode at any point during that sequence. That boy on his ass. That's a fellow who's uh, in a hurry to buy some lip balm. 
Boy, do I not care. Boy, do I not care at all. Where's the nearest payphone? That's what I care about right now. Let me uh, zoom out. Cool, I'm going this direction anyways. This is perfect. Literally just run right on over to the nearest payphone. Right past these men in black. Just kidding, they're hooligans. These are the hooligans! Let me just take my baseball bat out. Boink. Boy, do I like this one move. Oh, there's more hooligans. Literally, I didn't even notice that there were so many hooligans. These days, man, the hooligans just kind of come out of the woodwork. Let me just grab this guy. There we go. You're going to make a great... I don't know why I was about to say pitching mount. I'm betraying my lack of propensity for any kind of, like, sports watching. Which is fine and dandy and all that jazz. But, you know, I should probably... Oh, right. You know what I forgot about? The, um... The freaking... Ugh! How did I never try that? The, the grab button just does like a, a thrust that's interesting I don't know how I haven't tried that because it, it makes sense that seems like it would be a good thing to like interject in my my combinations you know the old one two but uh, eh, whatever hey you got pocket tissues you look like you have pocket tissues give me pocket tissues very very nice something to give to the popo in case they try and frisk me Gosh dang, big city police. Well, that's all I've got today, so on the next episode of the Yakuza Zero, I will be going to Kijin Clan HQ. Till then, though, like, comment, and subscribe, or I will send you to Kijin Clan HQ in a body bag. Yep. Goodbye! Yeah, I hope that one. I thought it was pretty funny.